Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Coffin Bound number one coming from Image Comics. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. Today, I'm giving an advanced review of Coffin Bound number one, releasing this upcoming Wednesday in comic shops from Image Comics. It's written by Dan Waters with artwork by Danny, coloring by Brad Simpson, and lettering by Aditya Bidikar. One of the best letterers in the business right there, right? So you got Dan Waters of the White Noise crew, you got Danny, you got Brad Simpson, and you got Bidikar coming in. You know this is going to be something special, right? This book was awesome. I highly recommend it, especially if you like books like The Sandman or if you like more irreverent fare. For sure, the book is basically about this lady named Izzy, and she's being hunted and helped by all these various and mysterious characters and entities, right? Including this one um, that's like a vulture. and it, But it's like a vulture on this weird body. It's so cool, so visually striking, and an instantly compelling and engaging character, right? This is an expertly crafted violent romp that is both irreverent and mythological. It's kind of like Sandman meets the Grindhouse, if that makes sense. It's got a bit of sci-fi, a pinch of fantasy, and a healthy dose of horror. So it takes all these genres and it merges them together into true, something truly unique. I absolutely loved it. Um, lots more going on um, than meets the eye in this story. The story is still just a bit unclear after the first issue, yet the flow of the action and the elegant dialogue and the striking visuals, they just leave you wanting more. It's still meaty. It's still dense. It's got a lot of information into it. Um, but there's just a lot that's unclear, but these are those kind of books that I love that un unravel and, and reveal themselves as they come across, right? The artwork is just like the story. It's bleak, it's dystopian, it's gritty, it's grimy, and it's got very skillful attention to every detail, every layout, the composition of each panel. Everything is meticulous. Everything works. It's got a very gritty tone to it. The colors enhance this mood. They enhance this atmosphere. This atmosphere. It actually provides a dense atmosphere to the grim and desolate world that's being introduced in this book. And then the colors cool down in certain moments when necessary to help accentuate like a character moment or a story reveal or something like that, right? And then the lettering. It's Aditya Bidikar, the best letter, one of the best letters in the business. He... His style lends itself so well to this. It gets, it adds to the grit. It adds to the, to the urgency of the book. It really feels like a very urgent book with a lot of message behind it, a lot of stuff to unpack, and definitely something that's going to reward uh, future rereadings. I've, re I've read this book three times, and each time I picked up on a little bit more, and I think the story becomes a little bit more clear. I'm very excited to see that where this is going to go. So if you like really cool, expertly crafted, weird, awesome, eloquent, but very also just in your face and direct and violent. If you like that kind of stuff, definitely check out Coffin Bound from Dan Waters, who also wrote Deep Roots over at Vault Comics, which is, a, which is an amazing book. He also is writing Lucifer right now, which I'm hearing good things about. I got the first trade paperback right over there. I'm going to be digging into that one soon. Anyway, very excited for Coffin Bound. I hope you like it. I hope you're anticipating it. It's in shops this Wednesday from Image Comics. So let me know how excited you are. Let me know what you think about it when you read it. Let us know all that stuff in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. Thanks for rocking with us. Keep on reading.